Dear brothers and sisters, today, today we hear from the Gospel of St. Mark. The very opening verses of the Gospel. As we prepare for the coming feast of the Theophany, just two days away, the feast of the baptism of our Lord. And each and every year on the Sunday before Theophany, we read this Gospel. We hear about St. John the Baptist, who in the desert, in the wilderness, was preaching repentance and baptizing. The Gospel says, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. We take this, which is a prophecy of the Old Testament, we take this as a fulfillment of God's promise. We take and understand these words not only literally, but also figuratively. For this wilderness, of course, our St. John dwelt in the desert. He ate wild honey and locust, insects, and was dressed in camel's hair. Lived in the desert for years and years. But we also understand this concept of wilderness in a spiritual sense. The world was a wilderness when Jesus came into it. We think of wilderness and we see a variety of imagery. We see a barren land, land that is dry, maybe a desert or we see a wilderness deep in the forest where it is so deep and isolated that you can't even find any animals, let alone human beings. Devoid of life. You look at miles and miles of sand of the desert and there's no life. The world, the earth was like that when Christ came into the and John was sent out into this wilderness to prepare the way of the Lord. And he prepared the way of the Lord by preaching repentance. That the only way that we can draw closer to God is through repentance. And secondly, as an outward sign of that repentance, he baptized Many, many people. They came from all Judea and Jerusalem. And by his very life, he also showed how, how this brings forth fruit and draws us even closer to God. For he lived a life of righteousness. He lived a life of ascetic practices of spiritual discipline. Yes, it's one thing for us to come to our Lord and to fall down before Him and to repent, to confess our sins, to promise to change our life. And St. John, in his example, in his life, showed us that that continues by living a life of righteousness, and spiritual discipline. Because after we repent, after we confess our sins, after we are cleansed, we live that change. We not only say we're sorry for all the habits that we have created, but we break them. We change our life. We increase our prayers. We do good deeds. We fast. We help those in need. We abandon vanity of this world. 
We are no longer attached to the cares and pleasures of this life. St. John in his life demonstrated that. He lived in the desert. Where was his earthly pleasure? He showed us that you don't need earthly pleasure. You only need God. When Christ was in the desert, after he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and was tempted by the devil, that was the first temptation to make the stone into bread, to pursue earthly goods. And Christ says, man does not live by bread alone, but by the word of God. And also, spiritual discipline. St. John prayed fervently. And though we aren't called to live in the desert, though we're not called, maybe not called to monasticism, we're all called to perfection. Christ says, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. St. Paul calls us to pursue holiness. St. Peter calls us to be partakers of the divine nature. And we can accomplish these things, for with God all things are possible, only with spiritual discipline. S spiritual discipline to fervently pray regularly and frequently. Spiritual discipline to control our thoughts to overcome bad habits, to rein in our reactions to things, to be more focused, more patient, more forgiving, more understanding, more sacrificial, more loving, and more faithful to God's commandments. Spiritual discipline also includes a thirst for righteousness. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. St. John, certainly his physical stomach was always longing for food and drink, but he longed first for righteousness, and he was filled, he was satisfied, he was sustained. So let us, brothers and sisters, think about Meditate over the example of St. John the Baptist as we prepare for the great feast of the baptism of our Lord. Let us show forth fruit of repentance. Let us bring forth fruits of the baptism that we were given. And let us live a life of righteousness and spiritual discipline in this way, we prepare a way for the Lord. St. John prepared a way for the Lord to come and to preach to all the people of Jerusalem and Judea. We too, through righteousness and spiritual discipline, prepare a way for the Lord to reach our hearts. Because we really change, we are touched by His grace, only when we repent, only when we live righteously with spiritual, <coughs> spiritual discipline, faith and love. Amen.